Yeah, my name's David Pratt. I was I live in Cardiff, I was born and bred in Cardiff. Um, and besides here, I, uh, besides with SNAP, I have done a little bit of volunteering elsewhere. What other places have you volunteered? Um, I volunteered in the powerhouse in Lanedin, it's um, a community centre. Used to help the girls in the kitchen and all things like that. And I've done voluntary work with Innovate Trust and with the Rangers and everything. I've been up to places like St Fagans. And can you describe your volunteer duties and responsibilities with SNAP? Yeah, um, I answer the phones, I take messages, I do some research, and I check the post and also post, if I have to, I post it as well. How long have you been volunteering here? It'll be 10 years in June. Oh, good. How did you start volunteering with SNAP? Um, I was taken along by social services to um, a place called VCS, which is based in St Mary Street, and I found them through there. Good. We're from VCS. Yeah, but I had to wait. I had to wait three months before I even got off thing because obviously they do all the checks and everything. And what kind of training did you have to undergo to become a volunteer? Or did you have any training? I can't remember. Can't remember? <laughs> I can't remember that far back. Okay. Um, let's see. What motivated you to volunteer? Or what, what, start, what got you going? Um, I, have, I have a special need myself. So, um, like learning disability, and uh, I got I got family have got um, I've got disabilities as well. Nephew and great nephew have got autism, and my and my niece has got uh, cerebral palsy. And did SNAP help you and your family? They helped them, yes, okay. through them. Yeah, no, what it is when I was thinking, they obviously they weren't around because of my age. Could you give me a really brief description about what SNAP, what kind of services it offers? Ed um, it's uh, mainly to do with education and uh, help with things like statements. Um, okay. If right. if a family needs, because uh, some parents um, going through the process and everything, they take them. Let um, if they need letters, writing, they help them with that. They attend school meetings. Um, has volunteering helped you to get to know your community better? Yeah. 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 In what ways? Just a little bit more confidence. Good. And what does volunteering mean to you? Or can you give it a definition? Um, it's rewarding, basically. Gets gets you out, gets you out of the house, especially if you suffer with uh, things like depression, like I do. Have you met any? Have you made any friends while volunteering? I have to say, the only time I see the people is when I'm here, or if sometimes they do now and again, they do have like gatherings where we we've all got together. Can you describe those gatherings? It's just like to the pub and things like that. Not not all the time, it's just like now and again sort of thing I've been with them. So you have an element of social life? Yeah, it's, but it's, it's what I'm saying is not all the time. Oh yeah, and also what I forgot to say, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually a trustee with um, Innovate Trust. Okay, what's Innovate Trust? They run our house. And what, what kind of responsibilities do you have as a trustee? Um, it's things about with the finances and like we talk about things that groups have done as well. And is that a volunteer role? Yes, it is. Is that in Cardiff? It is. They're, based, uh, they're actually based in Canton. Okay. 
do you think you've inspired anybody else to become a volunteer or do volunteer work with SNAP or any other organization? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? I can't really say, yeah. If someone was to ask you for advice about volunteering, do you have any like, words of wisdom you might be able to give them? It's something well worth doing, giving it a try. But nobody's ever asked me, so... Well, I asked you. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any favourite memories uh, what, about being at SNAP that really stand out? Um, as I say, we've been to like a few um, like events out of the office. Um, we had one recently, because it was the 30th year, we had uh, down at the Senate. The 30th year anniversary? Yes, yeah. And then we had another one, and I was, that was something to launch like something, and I was in, that was my favourite, that was in the um, Pierhead building. And what, what kind of event was it? I think it was launching some website or something. I can't remember all the details, but. Any other day-to-day -day activities that are involved in your volunteering that you do? I do do a bit of, what I mean research is like, if they may need some, like looking up for support groups and things for the children to do with uh, activities outside of school. So, so I go on and have a look for like sports clubs or something suitable for them. anything that you would like to add that we haven't talked about yet? It's nothing to do with work but I just like to say it's um, in in August I'm actually going to represent Wales at the Special Olympics. Oh fantastic. Yeah and that's at Bowles. The Bowles Pavilion? Uh, oh Bowles. Yeah. Bowles yeah. yeah. How yeah. long have you been doing that? Um, I've only um, I've only been playing indoors for about a year, but I used to play outdoor. Good. Where's the Special Olympics this year? Sheffield. Okay. Yeah, what it is, we, we don't represent Britain, we represent Wales. Mm -hmm. Represent our country. Congratulations. Yeah. Good luck. Looking forward to it. <laughs>